I told her shawty she the real it yeah. I'm tryna make this shit a movie yeah. You wanna call me in your feet Hi everyone, it's Eddie Yell here and welcome to the first day of my life 9 to 5 edition <laughs> on or my lips only thing i'm really missing in my makeup today it is 9 30 from 9 15 to 9 30 i have a quick meeting every day i know you guys are probably so confused so i have a meeting every day with the founders i'm actually not sure i still have to ask how comfortable they are with me being honest about where i work and also if i want that information out there so still thinking about that sorry if i sound a little nasally first of all i always sound like that when i get no sleep allergies are acting up this ac with my wet hair but yeah so today is wednesday i have been officially at my new full-time job for two days now and can i say i absolutely love it i'm gonna sit down and film a video all about job hunting and job interviewing so so soon but i'm so glad that i stuck it out and waited because your girl accepted an offer last week so that's the update with my life i just feel like i'm in the right place and i'm just really excited yeah so my official role i'm basically a social media manager and content creator influencer outreach etc etc so it's so fitting for me if it's so good into my schedule it's something that I'm passionate about so that's really good and yeah so it is 9 30 I have another meeting at 10 I want to try and see if I could get some of this done I want to also see if I could run to Starbucks real quick today I'm actually meeting one of the founders of the company aka one of my bosses in person so I'm so excited I love them so much honestly I could couldn't ask for a better position and trust me I went through a lot of interviews a lot of processes and I know for a fact that I made the right choice for me so yeah and I just want to also note throughout this vlog I'm gonna try and sprinkle in some fun aspects like whether I'm on break or yeah YouTube is still something I want to keep seriously so just know that some vlogs I'm gonna try my best to do days where I do like a raw real work day in my life nine to five but then other days like this one are gonna kind of be more amped up because you know I still have to make content entertaining for you guys and I don't want to show every and all aspects of my work so yeah anyways I'm gonna try and pop some lashes on real quick or hmm, maybe I'll actually go to Starbucks right now and then pop my lashes on with the leftover time because the Starbucks I have to go to the one in Ralph's hold on let me just hop in the car and talk to you guys there. okay so first of all if y'all know me it is so weird for me to be up this early um I wake up around like 8 30 I want to say 8 8 30 every day and that before was unheard of but can I just say honestly it feels so amazing Amazing. Sorry, you're shaking a lot. I've been so productive and I knew this was gonna happen like when I was working even my part-time job Whenever I'm working, I feel like I'm just on go mode. I know I have to work I know I have to do things so even simple tasks like cleaning up during the day like it's just easier for me But not today today tonight actually I have to clean and organize my whole apartment It's a wreck my hair is a wreck also, but we're gonna do that a little bit later So I am working remote from home also honestly the best option for me the company is a startup so an office space is still like in the work but even for me I just prefer a remote setting I work really independently and when it comes to content and social media it's really easy for me to manage and then also just with my own personal life and my own personal stuff so I'm working on creating a schedule for filming maybe on the weekends or at night when I get off last night I stayed up till 2 a.m. editing a video and I want to make sure that that's no longer thing moving forward and getting to schedule content because the one thing I don't want to do is flop on all of the aspirations and goals that I have for myself. I have so many things that I want to do and accomplish and so I kind of feel like I'm going to be spreading myself a little bit thin with all of the stuff that I have to do. I'm still attempting to do fit modeling at the same time. That's another thing. My employers are so sweet and they're so understanding about my own passion and the things that I have going on so I honestly just found the perfect fit for me. Obviously my priority is my 9 to 5 
five job and creating the best work for the nine to five always. But they're also super flexible with making sure I maintain my mental health and my schedule. So that's kind of like my boring rant, I guess. I'm about to arrive at Starbucks. Anyway, what I was saying is I have to go to Ralph's to get the brown sugar shake and espresso, aka my favorite freaking drink, the best thing Starbucks has ever created. I can't live without it and so many stores don't sell it anymore, but Ralph's does. And sorry, the lighting is probably so terrible, but I'm gonna go inside and get that. And yeah, I just wanted to clarify a few things up and obviously just tell you guys that I'm trying my best to incorporate other things like PR hauls. I wanna do a try and haul a little bit later in this vlog with the Shein Hello Kitty collection. Also, I wanna call on my way home. I wanna pick up, I'm planning on buying a little congrats gift to myself for graduating college and um, for my job and just, I've never really splurged on myself in a really long time and I feel like it's deserving. So it's 9.41, I have a meeting at 10. I'm gonna quickly run into Starbucks and let's go. I got a sausage cheddar sandwich. Still working on some organization um, with groceries and figuring all of that out because I definitely need to up my groceries. So usually I only have stuff for like dinner and then like frozen things and like fruits and vegetables. But I really want to up like making sure that I have everything on the breakfast menu. You feel me? Um, I want to like cook up some breakfast for myself. And I also am in the lookout for an espresso maker because I want to make this stuff at home. I'm tired, I'm tired and I can't be spending money on Starbucks every single day and I need my coffee if I'm waking up so early. Shout out to the Ralph's Starbucks worker. I couldn't get his name and I didn't want to weird him out and like think that I was gonna like get him in trouble or something but he was the sweetest. I told him I was like, cause there was a line and I was like, do you think I could get it in 10 minutes? And he got me out like in less than five. So thank you so much. Shout out to him. Oh my God, this drink is literally Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, I have a few minutes to spare. This is my first time. Well, it is only Wednesday and I started Monday. But it's my first time going to Starbucks um, early in the morning and trying to manage that. So I don't know if that's going to be a thing if I find my espresso machine. But yeah, today I also have to go to fit modeling. So I'm glad I got to talk to you guys in the car because um, I'm about to have a busy few hours until it's time to go meet one of my bosses. I'm so excited and she said it's just going to be a more casual meeting like just getting to know each other. So yeah, she's a full-time working girl. Crazy. But it feels good. My inner Capricorn is like screaming. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try and vlog like little aesthetic clips like I did or attempted to do this morning speaking of incorporating fun things a little intermission from future me so we could do a little fun hello kitty x she and try and haul <laughs> sorry guys my man is over I think I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to do a try and haul later but I wanted to do a mini try and haul with all of my she in x hello kitty collaboration items that I got thank you so much to she in hello kitty I feel like it's a part of all of our childhood so I'm just so excited to show you guys these pieces. Also, I do have a coupon code with Shein. You can use it all the time. I will link on the screen and have it down below for you guys. It's also on my Instagram. Or no, my bad. I have a coupon code, but the coupon code to use for this video and this collab, which if you guys buy and use my code, it will really help me out a lot. I don't get paid from the code at all, by the way. It is KT138. So yeah, the Shein X Hello Kitty collection is now available on the Shein website and app. There's women and kids clothing, accessories, and you guys are gonna see how cute but yeah i'm literally so excited so first of all i'm gonna show you guys the accessories i went a little crazy with the accessories because oh my gosh honestly they had to be my favorite part of the collection so first off is this tiny little backpack and yes i will be using this some way somehow so freaking cute i have to stuff it up to structure it a little bit but so damn cute next this might be my favorite thing that i got actually like look at this it is a white bag with this almost like a shell like this pink strap shell literally adorable so then i got two more bags first is this denim one with little apples like how freaking cute it's like a 
really dark almost black denim and then this one is a lighter sequin sparkly denim so freaking cute i love these little bags like this i can't wait to flick up for instagram i have been patiently waiting to be able to wear and put all this stuff away but next up i got a denim jacket from the collection it says hello kitty on the back look at her working it i got this in a size medium just because i like my denim jackets to fit a little looser so got you know business in the front party in the back so cute oh my gosh really obsessed and i actually don't have a light denim jacket or i do but it's like a cropped one with a bunch of fur so i like that this one's more toned down okay guys so literally in love i'm kneeling on my damn rug right now sorry this isn't the most formal setup look how cute they're a little short they have a little bow with the pocket and then of course hello kitty on the back and then this top i freaking love Love it it is so cute i love how it crisscrosses i think you could probably do regular straps but they're just a little too long because they're meant to be crisscrossed so let me show you the final item so last but very not least we have these cute little sweatpants so this is the more casual version it could even be some really cute pajama it has hello kitty making different faces going all down one leg so yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed my little she in x hello kitty haul and let's continue on with the day so it is the afternoon i just wrapped up my fit modeling and i'm going to show you guys my little business casual outfit to meet my boss in a little bit I have about 15 to 20 minutes to quickly I wanted to sleep my hair back put some lipstick on touch my makeup up and then have to drive over to meet her so I'm so excited we did all of the interview process online so I'm really excited to finally meet in person but yeah I'll make sure to show you guys my outfit and then actually I did end up placing an order to pick up my little gift to myself so I'm gonna stop by on the way back home later get some work done So, I hope you guys liked my little touch-up session. I need to remember to show you guys in the mirror. This lighting is so bad, but yeah, I'm gonna focus on driving, getting there, and I'll keep you guys updated. So, perfect way to show you guys my little outfit for my meeting. Okay. I'm trying to see where it at though. Period. Y'all, this is gonna be my first designer purchase. What? <laughs> Okay guys, so did I even vlog it? No, but here it is. I felt weird because you know how there's security all over malls, especially when it's all the designer stores, they're like standing there. And every time I've tried to even do like an Instagram story in those stores, they yell at you. So I was like, let me just not, let me get my shoes and go. So damn, what was her name? Thank you to Veronica at the Beverly Center for helping me out. She was so sweet and she made it really easy. So I didn't know if I was a size eight or nine. Usually I'm a size eight in flats and nine in heels. But luckily I tried on the nine and it was actually a perfect fit. Like the eight would have been way too small. So I kind of looked at other stuff but guys i can't even lie i haven't had my eye on these for a while i honestly don't really care for designer stuff what actually gave me the idea to look for something is my dad was saying how he wanted to pitch in for a gift for me for graduation and i was like i don't even need a need or want anything so i've been needing new slides for a cool minute i've been wearing the same pair for literally like three to four years they're falling apart it's just it's not it and i don't know i guess i just wanted to treat myself um i've never bought anything designer for myself and yeah i don't picture myself even being someone that often buys designer stuff unless it's something like i really want i'm not the kind of person that's like everything has to be designer but yeah you know we're making multiple incomes now so i just want to give myself a gift anyway okay honestly i don't even know why i pick shoes to be like my first designer thing i think i just figured this would be like a daily thing i think they're super cute and i didn't want to like spend so much money on myself so let's see i love how they wrap it i like almost don't want to unwrap it the box is so cool okay i like hold up I'm trying to get like everything you can see. Little fancy tissue, a dust bag for each shoe. Yay! They're so pretty. Cute thought it was a drop. <laughs> I just in some Gucci flip flop. Where does it even say the size on? Why they in a dust bag, but they dusty. 
they're super cute i really liked this style i don't know why they have the pink they have the white but those would for sure get dirty i wear my black slides literally every day with anything it's actually ridiculous so yay i'll put them on but you'll have to ignore my pedicure because happy graduation slash new job to me okay so ignore i have some freaking blisters on my toes from my heels too but they're so cute and they fit really nice i love them okay guys so feeling very greasy <laughs> i am gonna go grab dinner with my boyfriend now and unwind i'm realizing this kind of wasn't a very good representation of a work day so i definitely probably will title this something else i originally had planned to do like uh starting my nine to five kind of focus vlog but i definitely will try and do that another day when it's strictly work but let me know how you guys feel about it if you want more like work content or you want me to make it more fun like this obviously a little disclaimer i put a little more fun in this vlog so that's why i'm realizing that i don't even know why i should title it a work day in my life i hope you guys are enjoying let me know feedback i'm trying to get in the swing of things get see how i want my schedule um, I definitely want to vlog weekly, but I'm not sure how much I want that to be work focused Maybe like once a month or once every two weeks I could do like a work day in my life or a work week in my life. That'll probably be a better representation But yeah, um, now I have to do a lot more stuff focused on my own personal life and YouTube and Instagram and all that kind of stuff So I actually need to post on Instagram. So trying to tackle everything actually literally exhausted and need a nap But I'll just go to bed early and do it all again tomorrow so yeah the getting early part is something that i'm trying to adjust to i'm trying i need to go to target and get like a planner slash notebook for work only um i have a separate one for my own personal youtube and work like that but yeah